The Slater Family Ice Arena, home to the High School Hockey Holidays Tournament, where day one featured Benedictine and Bowling Green. Scoreless in the first three on two for the Bobcats as Tainer Amos taking advantage of the numbers. BG finds the back of the net first and then often. Final second to the first period from behind the net. Rhett Winger falls. No issue. Still able to connect as BG melting the ice with a hot 2-0 start. In the second period, the goals continued to pour in. Amos using their turnover for his second goal of the night from right down in front. And in the second, it continued to roll on. The first rebound won't land. The second will for Winger, his second of the night. Casey Moore would add another to lead Bowling Green to a 5-0 shutout over the Cleveland Bay School as BG is 2-0 after day one of the tournament. I think we came out a little slow off the start, but really got rolling. And uh, I think everybody really worked hard. And my line, we were, I think, moving the puck well. And I think everybody really came out after that first period was a little slow and really started to get their feet under us. So, yeah. Uh, I think we were moving the puck well. We had, uh, good communication. We were talking a lot. Getting it up to our D with hard shots from the point was big. Uh, Hayden, Joseph also had one. So, I think we really played well today. Kevin Peel and Eddie Powers break down more. Second game of the day for Benedictine and Bowling Green in Holly Day's tournament play. We thought maybe energy level would be a factor as the game wore on. For Bowling Green, maybe a bit of a slower start, as Tanner was describing in the post-game interview. But ultimately, the Bobcats finally got that offense going. Two big goals in the first and three in the second. Yeah, seventh win for the Bobcats in a row. I really thought they played to their identity, which was, hey, getting to the pucks hard, uh, battling down low, getting pucks in that, getting greasy goals. I love the fact that they had not only had five goals, but they had seven assists out of that, of distributing the puck around, um, and got some goaltending that they've been getting lately also. Yeah, shut out for Cade Contras. They really have a one-two punch to the Bobcats, and Tanner just so impressed with this team defensively as well, and he feels like that's really led to this team's resurgence. You have guys that can score, but defensively this team locked down as well, especially a potent goal scorer like Ryan Karras, who just had his 100th career point yesterday. Yeah, the Bobcats, I mean, they play team defense. They come back hard from all five guys uh, doing some uh, real good back checking. Their defenseman does a good job of making sure they're on the D side. The guys, and obviously when you have two goalies playing as well as they have, you're going to have a lot of success. So good to see for the Bobcats uh, moving forward. Obviously they got their next game tomorrow against New Albany to see who's going to end up eventually coming out with the championship for the holidays. Yeah, and Bowling Green playing some of their best hockey going into this finale of the holidays tournament tomorrow. Along with that, they won't get much of a break with a game coming up against Perrysburg on Sunday. Should be a lot of fun to watch this Bobcats team. They've now won not only seven in a row, as Eddie mentioned, but nine out of 11. They just keep rolling.